What's up, peep? It's your boy, Jay. I am back today with another update. I am going to be installing this keyless entry. I got this basic keyless entry from eBay for like 11, 12 bucks or something like that. It's just a simple uh, lock and lock trunk release method. I've already installed one of these on couple of my crown vics and my uh, thunderbird that i had that i don't have anymore and so it's pretty straightforward um you know system instructions right here you know showing you uh what is what this side showing you how to program the key fobs or whatever and these are like the uh, different types of locking mechan uh, locking systems that, you know, for different cars or whatever. And this one right here, let me get the focus. The orange, white, yellow is what we're going to be using for the uh, Crown Vic because the Crown Vic has a reverse polarity lock system. Now, most people um, usually install these things either under the dash or using the driver door. Get it to focus using the driver's side of the door. Get, a little, get it to focus over here. They usually use it on that side or you should usually up under the car. But I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be using the passenger side door to do it. I've done it before. Like I said, I've done it on that my 2011 Crown Vic back here. This has the same, pretty much the same key locking system. I've done it before. Like I said, this is the key fob same type of key fob system that i use on the, that i'm using on this car i've used it on this car and yes it does work it unlocks it locks it and for the trunk release you have to hold the button like this and that'll release the trunk for you like i said i installed this system on here before this car has it and now i'm putting it on the 2007 over here get my camera to focus there we go. Now I'm installing it on my 2007 here. Can lock this guy up. Oh, he's already locked. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty much, like I said, straightforward. There's the, the box. Simple little box. You got the little indicator light here. You have the wiring harness that goes with it. We have, like I said, two fobs and I have all these extra wiring the instructions and I have a set of extra wiring and a relay and the relay connector now this relay and the relay connector is for the trunk release because on the instructions when you look at the trunk release wiring all right get it a focus the trunk release wiring is a ground it's not a hot like the rest of these. It's a ground. So, I have to use the relay to reverse the polarity of this. I have to send ground side to a hot side in order for it to work. And I have to remove this here and run and, and extend the wire over so I can get this to um, connect to the relay here via this connector here. So, I'm going to be running... Uh, wire from the uh, trunk release on here like I did the other one I had to run a wire from the hot side of this trunk release and run it to the relay here so well, I want one side to the relay then we do all the other setups from here to get the, to reverse the polarity of this and then we're going to run one side of this this blue wire which is the trunk release wire we're going to be running this also to the relay so I'm going to be showing step-by-step -step instructions on what I'm going to be doing to set this up. And like I said, I have extra wires to extend things if I do, you know, for extension purposes if I need it. So stay tuned for part two.